Hi, my name's Amy Gibson. These are the Jesus interviews I'm sharing with you, Almighty God and Jesus, wisdom in their own words. As they speak to me, I write down their words. I share this with the world to create world peace. You can make up your own mind about this for your own conversations and personal prayers. I encourage you to do so. This is not advice, but I believe the wisdom of God has come to me, compelled to share this with the world to create world peace. The title of tonight's work is Parental Guidance, and this is for all of the adults in the lives of the children. And we are approaching Mother's Day. I am fortunate to have wonderful parents. I have saints for parents. And they brought us to church regularly. They never yelled at us. They never used derogatory language. They never hit us or hurt us. And if the world could have parents like my parents, then we would not have the issues in the news. Parental guidance. Almighty God said, Parents have the best of intentions for their children, yet a variety of perspectives and philosophies for proper and appropriate treatment and guidance of children by word and deed. There is a continuum of language, vocabulary, intensity, discipline, environment, and these, irrespective of economic class, said the creator of humanity, Almighty God, with the reference point of history for the planet of Earth. Money has nothing to do with the treatment of children. Words are free, as are kindness, forgiveness, and encouragement. The sporting culture is the current influence for the majority of the world for competition elimination, otherwise known as the devil's deception and distraction from heaven's destiny. To compete is to fight over what exists with complete oblivion to the truth and the squander of humanity, all human beings are creators made in the image of God with the ability to create what they need and not to fight or steal or kill or covet others. Parents need to realize their powerful influence to always choose encouragement, kind words and guidance for creativity of solutions to the challenges the children face. If the children pray to their Creator, Almighty God, in quiet prayer, they will receive the wisdom of God to know what to do. And then Almighty God focused His loyal respect to His greatest pride and joy and creation, His Son, the Son, Jesus, listening closely to Jesus' wisdom. And Jesus said, there are many cultures of tradition for parenting protocols. However, the truth from the judge of humanity who decides the fates of each, there is never a reason to strike a child ever. Child abuse is ironically the adult's inability to behave appropriately. And words are commands and proliferate their content. Verbal abuse is the lack of wisdom and the immaturity of adults. The children are responsive to the words they hear and will become the content of the labels they are given. Words have power with the equivalent responsibility and the judge of humanity waits with consequential countenance for the deserving. And then Jesus provided a powerful prayer for the guidance of parents. And Jesus said, Almighty God, thank you for endowing us with the greatest miracles on planet Earth, the children, priceless and perfect, each and every one. Please inspire us to treasure the precious moments we have to create priceless memories to bring to heaven. Amen and a women. I appreciate Almighty God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit for being willing to share their wisdom with me for our salvation. The children are the future, and the future is world peace.